Hi, today I will be taking you through OpenERP7 Healthcare Module, a product by Pragmatic TechSoft. Let us log in into the database. The user can see a medical tab on the upper left corner of the screen. Let us first go through the configuration for the system. The first option is laboratory. It has two options, lab testing units and new type of lab tests. The lab testing unit displays 14 different kind of lab testing units. Also, new lab testing units can be created using create button. The next option is new type of lab tests. Once you click on new type of lab test, the system displays the already created lab tests. New type of lab test can be created using create button. Let us see a already created lab test. A lab test record consists of test cases, the normal range and the units. The next option is diseases. Once you click on diseases, you can see 14,181 pre-configured diseases in the system. Also, new diseases can be created using create button. The next is categories. Once you click on disease categories, the system shows 284 pre-configured disease categories and new type of disease categories can be created using create button. The next option is medical procedures. The system has a list of pre-configured 72,589 records. Also, new procedures can be created using create button. The next option is for health centers. The infrastructure hierarchy of the system can be maintained using health centers. The health centers consist of health center buildings, health center units, health center wards, and health center beds. The next option is Physicians. Once you click on Physicians, the system displays the Physician Records. In the Physician Records, the name of the Physician, their IDs, the name of the Institute and their Speciality is listed. The next option is of Medicaments. Once you click on medicaments, the system populates 353 pre-configured records for medicaments. Also, new records can be created using create button. The next option is of insurances. Once you click on insurances, you can see the records created under this tab. Each record consists of the number, the insurance type, the insurance company, the owner and the membership details of the patient. The next option is for genetics. Once you click on genetics, the system shows 4298 records of the pre-configured genetic risks along with their official symbols. Also, new, new records for genetic risks can be created using create button. In miscellaneous, we have the following options. Medical specialities, medicament units, occupations, ethnic groups and recreational drugs. Medical specialities. Once you click on medical specialities, the system shows for 58 pre-configured medical specialities. Also, new records can be created for medical specialties using create button. 
The next option is of medicament units. The system shows already created medicament units. Also, new units can be created using create button. Next option is of occupations. Once you click on occupations, this system shows 653 already created occupation records. Also, new records can be created using create button. The next option is for ethnic groups. The system shows already created records for ethnic groups. Also, new records can be created using create button. Once you click on recreational drugs, the system shows 27 pre-configured records for recreational drugs along with the names, categories, toxicity, dependence and street names. Also, new records can be created using create button. This was all about the configuration of the system. Now, let us see some other features of the system. Now, let us see the patient records. Once you click on patients option in the patients tab, you can see the list of patients. In patient record, you can add general information of the patient like the name of the patient, the date of birth, the gender, the blood type, the ethnic group, the blood group, the receivables, the insurance, the marital status, address, primary care doctor. You can also add lifestyle details of the patient like the diet and exercise details, the addiction details, the sexuality details and the safety details. Along with that, the socioeconomic details of the patient can also be added like the socioeconomic level, the education level, the housing conditions, occupation and other infrastructure details. Now, let us add a record for patient hospitalization admission. Click on hospitalization admission option below the inpatient administration tab. You can see the list of hospitalized patients. Click on a record to view the record. The details like registration code, patient name, the hospital bed, the hospitalization date, the discharge date, the attending physician, operating physician, admission type, reason for admission are added in the record. We have a button for confirm registration. Once the user clicks on confirm registration, the registration of the patient is confirmed. Now let us create prescriptions for the patient. Click on prescriptions option below the patients tab. You can see the list of already created prescriptions. Each record consists of patient ID, prescription ID, prescription date, prescribing doctor, pharmacy details, whether the prescription is invoice exempt or not, the invoice status. It also consists of the prescription lines. The prescription lines include the information such as medicament, whether the medicine has a substitution or not, the form in which the medi medicine will be taken, the start date of the treatment and the end date of the treatment, the dose units, frequency, treatment duration, quantity, etc. Now let us create lab test request for the patient. In the laboratory tab, click on lab requests. The system populates 
the already created lab requests along with the state. The state shows whether the test is done or is still in draft stage. Each lab request record has the data of test type, the date, the prescribing doctor, the patient and the state of the request. Click on more and then click on create lab test. The system creates a lab test record. Click on the record. The system auto populates test cases along with the normal range and the units. The user has to click on edit button and then enter the results one by one. Thus, all the results can be added one by one and then saved. Now, let us create invoices for lab requests, appointments and prescriptions. For that, go to Invoices tab and click on Lab Request to be invoiced. The system will populate the lab requests which are yet to be invoiced. Click on more option and then click on create lab invoice. This is creating an invoice in the draft stage. Click on the record. The system displays an invoice for the lab request. The changes can be made in the invoice using edit button or else or else the user can validate the invoice. Now let us create an invoice for prescriptions. Click on prescriptions to be invoiced under the invoice tab. The system displays the list of prescriptions to be invoiced and then click on more and then click on option create prescription invoice an invoice is created in the draft stage click on the invoice the changes can be done in the invoice using edit option or else the invoice can be validated using validate option now let us create invoice for appointments Click on Appointments to be Invoice option in the Invoices tab. Click on the Record of Invoice. Then click on More and click on Create Invoice. Click the Draft stage. Click on the Record to open the Invoice record. You can make changes in the invoice using edit option and validate the invoice using validate option. Now let us see a few other reports that can be created. Click on a patient's record and then click on print. You can see the various reports which can be printed. We have patient card medication history, vaccination history, diseases report and lab test. Click on patient card. This is a patient card. It contains the name of the patient, the date of birth, the ID and the blood group of the patient.
Similarly, other reports like medication history, vaccination history, diseases report and lab tests can be created. That's all about OpenERP7 Healthcare Management. Thank you for watching the video.